See some people showed up for the unboxing. That's what I love doing on Wednesdays. Because I know when Wednesday rolls around, there is going to be an unboxing. It's always something cool and fun. Now this, this is doubly cool. Because this was on my wish list for a while. This was on my radar. It was originally done, I think, in Polish. And then they did a Kickstarter in English for it. And I jumped on top of that as quick as I could. As fast as you would jump on a steed. So I've waited all day and I've waited all night for this to get to the table. So why don't you join me and we find out what's in the Pixies box. <laughs> See you all down at the table. Glory, a game of nights. Yes, like I said in the intro, I was really excited about this when I first heard about it, but uh, originally the very first thing I heard was that was, uh, was that the game was in Polish, and I'm like, well, that doesn't help me. <laughs> but then with the success of the, uh, the, the Polish uh, crowdfunding, they proceeded on to the multi-language, including English, uh, Kickstarter for the game. And I'm really excited about this game because this is exactly what it says. This is this is just a uh, you know 15th century medieval. Uh, it's not fantasy. There's no fantasy in it whatsoever, uh, as far as I can tell, anyway. Uh, and it uses real actual knights from the time period. And uh, it's a game of knights seeking glory. <laughs> so I was excited when I heard that the creators of the game themselves are. Uh, you know, these uh, medieval recreationists and jousters and all these things, I was like, wow, they know what they're, what they're talking about. <laughs> and everything looked really cool in the Kickstarter, and uh, so I backed it. And after much delays, as we all know happened, uh, during, uh, after, and then during <laughs> again COVID. So uh, I'm just really excited to get in and check this game out. So why don't we... Uh, and then we'll check these out. That's we check out the box. We move these over here to the side. It has some good weight to it also. Wow. All right. <laughs> Foo, are you as excited as I am? No. Well, it's because they're knights and they're all the good guys. And yeah. You want to see more games about bad guys, don't you? Okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll see what the publishers make. And I'll, I'll, I'll get them. <laughs> All right, Foo. Let me just get the... What do you mean not for the good guys? Come on, give me the blade. Give me the blade. Come on. Don't play with knives, Foo. That's bad. Ugh. Dirty pool, old man. Ah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Foo, I want to get you up to it safe location over here off to the side and uh, we'll check this out everyone please please let's have a round of applause for the amazing the spectacular the immaculate fool man <laughs> he does like his intro there all right so uh, let's just get right down to it and if you've watched these videos before you know that right about now I'm gonna say always cut away from yourself Ah, 
All right, yeah, it looks even prettier without the glare of that plastic, doesn't it, my friends? <laughs> All right, and uh, uh, print is a little small to read in the back. Step back in time to place. Step back in time to a place where knights tested their mettle and joined the ranks of the elite to win fame and glory. As a young noble, you will need to venture forth and prepare for the joust by acquiring the best armor and the strongest distress, and persuading allies to rally to your cause. Choose your tournament style and fight versus your notable rivals or against celebrated knights who are awaiting your challenge. Become the champion through clever strategy and preparation. Will songs of your prowess be sung in royal courts? Or will you gain renown for your honor and piety? You will name. Will your name echo through the ages like those of William Marshall and Ulrich von Lichtenstein? Join the fray and find your path to glory. <laughs> All right, let's see what everything looks like in here. Ooh. All right. Let's see the yeah, rules, of course, obviously. About 28 pages. Exactly, 28 pages. <laughs> Ooh, nice. A lot of visual examples. It's a lot of information. Ooh, that's the way the board and everything's going to look. Got to set up. Okay. All right, rules. Okay, the boards. This is to keep track. Keep track of the events, the winners. Right, round robin style. The board itself, where the tournament takes place. Shot there. You can see everything. There you go. That's, that's the entirety. Boy, the artwork looks really nice. Man, look at those houses. Ah, that's cool. Church. Castle, right? <laughs> Even the ocean looks kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Good quality. I like the back. You know, they didn't have to put a design on the back. They could have left it blank. But that's uh, kind of fitting, I think. And here we go with the chits and tokens. And player cards. Which looks like one from the bottom has already fallen out. One of the player cards. What can you have? Choose for your knight. Hmm. Well, they are decent quality. Thickness is pretty good. I'm supposed to focus on my hand. <laughs> you get the idea. And here you go the rest of the character boards and tokens, shits. Come out very easily here, as you see. No damage, no tearing. That's always good. I find in most cases, you know, if, if you just take your time, not always, but if you take your time in most cases, then uh, even, even ones that are a little tough to get out, you can usually get out without much of a problem. Not of roses. Here's the back. Oh, that's a wall design. Oh, yeah. Walls are blank. And the walls are the banners. Okay. Want to take a look at some cards before we jump into anything else? Yes, you do. Which is why I kept this out. Okay, now let's find a good spot to start. That looks good. Okay, 
let's take a look at the horses, the destriers, de destiers. I know I always say that wrong. Go ahead, you can tear me up in the comments from being able to mispronounce such an easy word. Oh, okay, get some armor going now, baby. Some barding. First played D&D &D, and the first time I heard barding, I thought it was armor for a bard. <laughs> hey, I was like, I was like eight years old, leave me alone. Nice armor. I guess these are the dice of uh, defense. I'm not sure, we haven't heard the rules yet. Pretty cool. Again, we don't know what the symbologies mean, the, the iconography. But being the fact that it doesn't really use language, other than initially reading the rules and seeing what the icons mean and everything, th that's really good. Because it does open up this game to more than, uh, you know, more individuals to play it. You just have to be able to know what an icon means. That looks like a bribery. If you ask me, he looks a little lecherous, cold-hearted. <laughs> this is why people think royalty are lizards. <laughs> oh, King Cole's merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. he. Called for his pipe, called for his bowl. Guess we all know about old King Cole. Nice artwork on the cards. Absolutely amazing. All right. Combat cards, it's the symbols, cards, you know. It's, ooh. Oh, heading to the uh, tournament grounds. In the field. Meeting with some royalty, making connections or something. Plotting? I don't know. I don't know. Traveling or merchants, perhaps. Oh, at the tournament grounds. Just burn the place down if I lose. That's it. If I lose, I'm burning the whole place at the damn ground. <laughs> Here he I second that. <laughs> Run away! He's burning everything down! Run away! You know, my own little story coming here. Kill him for burning everything down! He burned down our place! Get him! Get him! Ah, one-on-one, -on -one, the champion's duel. He looks like he really doesn't understand what's going on. Just doesn't have a clue. Don't know what these are, so I can't really make fun of them. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, <laughs> Do you like chucking dice? Oh, I love chucking dice. I'm a dice chucker. Take a look at some of these chuckables. Hey, Chuck. Touched my hand, Chuck. You know what that means. <laughs> Don't know what any of these mean. I know they look cool. Very cool. Nice. Etched in, I like that. Not stickers, just something that was uh, haphazardly painted. I like that. Ooh, okay, some more cards and mini cards. Some little Euro sized mini cards. Okay. Ooh, I'll get that card. <laughs> This is leaping out at me here. This is a large stack, that's why. Let me put some over here. Let me put some over here then. And we'll, uh, we'll look at these. There's a lot of cards. Obviously, we're not going to look at all of them. Especially since we don't really know what these symbols mean. But again, the artwork is nice. The cards are great. All right. Quality is good. When unfinished cards. Guess he gives his approval. Mm -hmm. and, uh, nothing different here. The ally. 
wives, lady and all these ladies, trying to get the affection of the royal ladies. Prove to them you're the best knight. You want that dowry and the armor and the horse and uh, the religious symbols. You, you basically want everything. You want the people, you want the land, you want the horses, the ladies, the money, the fame, the glory! <laughs> and speaking of glory, there you go. I'll pack this all up for right now. Just to remind you of what this is and what it looks like. Here we go. There's the cover again. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. We got a couple of extras that do not deserve their own video. I'm sorry, they don't. It's too small. But let's uh, maybe get a closer look here. That helps a little bit. And let's, ah, let's take a look at the coins. The coins. Coin of the realm. Yeah, these are metal coins. You know, you know, some of the really good plastic ones sound metal or metal-y, metal-ish. Uh, these really are. Here we go. And, uh, there's one side. Really nice detail, wow. And here's the other. Get it right side up. I know what right side up is. Okay, about that again. And then we got the smaller ones. You know, I kind of feel like, other than the fact that they're too perfectly round, they look spot on. Just feels like whenever I uh, see other ancient coins from the Middle Ages or whatever, they seem a lot more rough around the edges, less perfectly spherical. These are really cool. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm here while I pick up that other card. That dropped before, before I forget it. Okay, some cool metal coins. The realm. And now a uh, resin phase marker and promo pack number one. And I miss seeing promo pack number one and not order it. Now I have to find out. Now I have to find out. And I ruined this zip bag. Okay, I got more. Okay. <laughs> Two zip bags instead of another zip bag was a little bit much. But here, okay. So there, I think there was an option of a, of a metal one, but I didn't go for that. Trying to watch a couple pennies, I guess. There you go. And some extra cards that we don't know exactly how to read. <laughs> yet until we go through the rules. There we go. Okay. And there you go now with uh, the extra stuff. Extra metal coins. And there you go. Looks cool. I can't wait to jump into it. You can play this game solo as well, uh, as well as up to four players. All right. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G. <laughs> The Two Gun Pixel presents <laughs> Legendary Gaming, and 